You know, judicial appointments uh, have been controversial, uh, but they've also been linked to the independence of the judiciary somewhat. Um, you've yourself have been, have, you've headed uh, the Collegium in High Court. You've been part of the Collegium in Supreme Court. What, according to you, have been chinks in the Collegium? You know, in layman terms, a lot of people would say there's a certain amount of you know in in, in politics you call it bhai bhati java. Mm. Do, you, do you think that was one I, of these? I think one thing is that the process uh, is not understood. Uh, so when you say transparency of the system, we can't sit in a glass house and appoint judges. But there is a process. There's a process of consultation with the judges. At least I have followed in two courts process of consultation with judges across the board, even the junior judges. I would say mm -hmm. because you've come from the bar, give some suggestions. From the right thinking members of the bar, uh, give their inputs. Informally consult the IB. I personally would do it to find out is there something very, very obviously, which would be a problem while making an appointment of a judge. Sit down with the collegium, collect a name, maybe collect uh, 100 names, then slowly water it down to different levels. See the uh, representation character which is necessary. Uh, it can be caste community issues, it can be gender issues, and then work out a list. And it, it did work. Uh, I, I don't have a complaint on it because from, from uh, Tamil Nadu, which has been a great uh, testing ground for me, a very satisfying ground for me, I recommended 60 names over two and a half years. 46 were appointed as judges of this court, uh, of that court. Uh, Punjab and I recommended 16. 14 were appointed as judges. So it's not judges were not being appointed. But over a period of time, what I found was that the time being taken is, is too long. And it's not got it sorted out, the whole problem. Uh, so in that sense, I have a great satisfaction. I, I don't know how many... Uh, Chief Justice would have an opportunity to serve this long and appoint 60 judges to, to, to High Court. But Sadi, you know, the counter to that also comes from the fact that there's been criticism of the Collegium mm -hmm. of uh, promoting their own. So, what is promoting their own? If somebody has been a judge and his son has to be considered, I don't think there's a bar. But I put a simple test. Mm -hmm. I said, if he is the son of a ward of a judge and he's good, he has to be 10% better than the others. That's how I used to look at it. What do you think led to the breakdown where at least the government and the collegium came into being? Was it like a communication problem, trust deficit? How do you look at it? Uh, government wants to play a bigger role, let me say it this way. They feel we have a role because we are the elected representatives. Hmm. And in the judiciary, they feel that like we are doing uh, uh, what the collegium system says. My concern has always has been whatever system prevails must be operated. So if NGC was prevailing, we will operate the NGC. If a collegium system is prevalent and, and what is law of the land is laid down by the Supreme Court as the final arbiter. Now, if this is the law, then the appointment must go through this process. That's been a little, uh, well, difference of opinion I've had at times with the government. But there's an old saying which goes on to suggest that if the judiciary is strong, the government's weaker. If the government's strong, the judiciary is weaker. How do you, uh, uh, you know, okay, in the current I'll, context, I'll, uh, the government is strong. I'll rephrase it. Whenever there is always a little tough war which goes on, okay. Okay. it's bound to occur by the reason of space you occupy. Because of the role the judiciary plays of a check and balance on an elected government. Mm -hmm. uh, so wherever there have been um, coalition governments, uh, judiciary may have forayed a little ahead. Wherever strong governments are, the pushback has been more. That's the historical part from 19... Has there been a pushback with this government? Well, they want to play a bigger role, certainly. They feel that they are entitled to play a bigger role because they've been elected with a large mandate.